Yo, 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 what's going on folks? L the Geek back once again with a another little pickup video. This time it's for uh, used games that I picked up this weekend, uh, DS games, and a couple of other games that I picked up that I didn't say anything about, DS games as well. I've mostly been playing my DS now because the games are cheaper. Um, and there's a lot of, I mean, this is, 3DS is like my first game where I've been able to play the 3DS library. So I'm going back and picking up some of those games. Without further ado, let's talk about these that I picked up. Now the first one is Final Fantasy XII, uh, Revenant Wings. I never played it, but I mean, it was $12.99, so I just figured, ah, what the hell. Um, heard it's pretty much a, a RTS, just like the console version of Final Fantasy XII that was on PS3, PS2, sorry. So um, I went and got that. The next one is one that I've really been thinking about getting for a while, and my friend pretty much just sold it up. The name of this one is called The World Ends With You. Now, what's cool about this one that I was told is that uh, you can control, like, let's see, you can control two different people with, like, like one screen will be one person, this screen will be another person, and you control one with the D-pad, and you control the other one here with a stylus. And once you get to a certain point, uh, you start getting more, um, you start getting experience for not playing the game. So it's like, it's it's pretty crazy. I, I really like the concept of the game. is uh, It's pretty cool to me. And this was rated rather high by users. Um, every review like place where they sell the game I go and look at the reviews of the users and uh, it was it was rather high uh, the, you know just what they rated the game so I, I figured I'd go ahead and get it so that was pretty cool uh, da -da -da, next Pokemon Black it was like twenty dollars I, I got a little twenty dollar deal on it so I haven't played since the first Pokemon on I think uh, black and white I mean you know the, the like the regular Game Boy like the the fat one but uh, next up is Ninja Gaiden I don't remember if I showed this one uh, I got this one a long time ago I just never showed it in the video these are just more like the catch-up pickups but um, this one you actually have to play sideways so instead of playing like this instead of playing like this you play like this and you use this screen with a stylus and like swipe people up and you see like your map and everything here but you're playing on this screen so that's pretty cool I like that um, the other one is one I picked up Castlevania uh, Portrait of Ruin Portrait of Ruin there I didn't have it shown yeah but um, a lot of people were telling me good things about this um, I need to go and actually get the Castlevania games for DS there's three of them and this is one of the three, obviously. I only have one of them. So I need to go back and get the other ones. And this one. Shin Megami Tensei uh, Strange Journey. Um, I'm actually going to get Shin Megami Tensei 3DS uh, Devil Survivor Overclocked. I have that fully, pro fully paid off. Uh, I'm starting to, to lean a little bit more towards like the, the DS games. I do have a lot of PS3 and 360 games pre-ordered fully off of like trade-ins and things of that nature. Exploiting trade-in bonuses. <laughs> so, you know, I still have a decent amount of uh, console games that are coming, but now I, I just really don't feel like spending $60 on a game. So I'm just going to start um, a, a lot of the games that I'm going to be getting are going to be DS, especially with the fact that I'm going to kind of lessen the load that I'm getting from like work and just uh, I'm about to actually try to grind this school out so I can get that done so I can stop you know doing that stuff and start learning a little bit more so I can make my own games <laughs> you know <laughs> anyways uh, for, for now that's it man um, I'm on spring break, so I'm going to try to uh, 
finish up that SOCOM playthrough. I might finish it on easy so I can get through and get Quan Chi because I figured out that you have to go to the 16th chapter to do that. And now I want to do that. And I'm hearing things about Shao Kahn being like hard as hell. So that's another thing I want to do. And I'm also hearing that the elite mode of SOCOM Chapter 8 is a bitch too. So I want to do that. And I like challenging myself. So I think I may go ahead and do that. But um, yeah, once again, guys, that's it. L the Geek out. Um, I'm probably going to set up some like an online game night before I end up going back to school week after next so yeah xbox ps3 i don't care you know whatever you guys end up choosing will be what i end up playing on uh so yeah we can even sit in the party i don't even care but anyways i'm done now for sure peace have fun